Santo. Neither one saw her just to hina and put in her room. What then? You lied to me? I don't say lie, because that's so dirty. I thought I'd liven things up. No wonder he and Byakugan like each other so fucking much. They do the exact same thing. I can't help you tell you to my little scribbles of face value. It didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. You f What the fuck, Monokuma? Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the Well, I mean, you did falsify evidence, but it wasn't evidence that actually got used because Hina hid it from us. The place played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if I had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's your problem? It's all part of the production process. Okay, I see. Cut. God damn, this is dumb. Okay, come on. I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I should read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Wait, no, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? Isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. Whoa. Could you... Yeah, please, Monokuma. I want to go lay down, dude. My fucking head hurts. Ahem. My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. She's writing it with a fucking... What the fuck is this? As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. You see, the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I became their tool. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch, so even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. <coughs> because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried until the first murder had happened, nothing would move for forward. <coughs> But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off to wait until we reach another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying desperately to stay alive, I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the Mastermind. And more than anything, I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. A true warrior does not betray their friends. That's how I came to feel. Oh no. So that's why Sakura... That's why Sakura decided to unleash the Dark Kado. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise, no longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Of course, because that I said to reveal her secret, which made everyone hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic? <laughs> of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I am perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with me just accepting your hatred. My own situation started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into something, someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get the situation under control. To fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit mur Well, I mean, it's not really a murder, it's really more of a suicide. I mean, it's not not really the same thing. Homicide and murder side, that's the same, they're not the same thing. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is... Myself. I have split myself into two clones, and I will fight myself to the death. If the Mastermind demands I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will- Well, no, I mean, because then there's no one to look after the dojo. Or the Mastermind could be like, well, I mean, you didn't commit murder, you committed suicide, it's two different crimes, uh, so I guess I'm just gonna burn it down and turn it into a parking lot. 
When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. Oh, look, she said the traditional American kotatsu. Eat your hamburger, Sakura. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I've never had people like you in my life. So what's the ex what's the execution going to be? Didn't die hating us. She wanted to stop us from finding... Yeah, congratulations, Ao. You went completely against her wishes because you're a fucking idiot. Quite the opposite. She was strong, too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. It was only your limitless strength that made it possible. Um, she wants to just apologize to Hina because... Blah, blah, blah. She's just... Just thwart the motherfucker. Just thwart him. Just do it. Please talk to Byaki Toko and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell you what my plan when I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions, not words. Hopefully, they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. Metal Gear, survive. This is... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. Oh, no. I thought we were close and still. But in the end, her other meddling was like totally pointless. Oh my god. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other. We almost ended up doing it anyway. Thanks to her death had no purpose at all. Congrats, fucker. In fact, it's because her stupid meddling, the rest of you nearly bit the big one. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. Now the next victim has been decided. What? What the f What? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina into that fake suicide note, and plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Because she made us remember, we're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. Damn straight, bro. Here, take this victory toke. This is all because of our misplaced hatred, bro. Gotta get my J.O. crystals, like, level the energy out. I don't blame her, I can't blame her, man. No one can blame Hina either. Whether or not there was a spire never really mattered, because the one we needed to destroy is you, no one else. Why the hell? That's not how it's supposed to go! But anyway, are you sure about that? This killer game is a competition between all of you, remember? Your enemy is each other. He's absolutely right. Bi Byakugan, can you stop being a fucking idiot for f one goddamn second? Ah, oh, lovely Byakia, you understand, don't you? The one true waifu? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. Huh? Sokka and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. I did not expect this from him. Holy shit. Is he gonna turn around and not be a shitlord for once? Thanks to them, as it would appear the elders have cast aside their fear for this game. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that. Oh no, he's still a shitbird. It's just not fun for him anymore, so he's not. Pl he's literally taking his ball and going home. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What? What's going on here? I have only one thing to look forward to. And that's to heap the harshest possible punishment upon the one who thinks they can control me. B Biakia, does this mean? Don't misunderstand. I have to be moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. Wherever master goes, I go. If the master might turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire. Everyone. No. Well, now you say Sakura's death had no meaning. How boring. But nothing good can come of this. I'm still going to be the one having fun time. No, no, the fun time? What? What do you mean? Punish, but who? Wait, but who? What are you gonna do? Oh heavens, no, just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I just sub in whoever all student I want. Didn't I tell you I'm very particular about the bear times one rule? I spent so much time preparing my special punishments, it's a shame to let it go to waste. So for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest. What? Let's give it everything we got, it's punishment time! What? No! Are you... No! Come on now! Oh god, where am I? This seems like a fun place. Oh no. 
No, come on. You've already killed her once. You're a fucking monster, B Monokuma. You're a goddamn monster. All she wanted to do was help. All she wanted to do was help. Alright, this is no longer fun. This one, this is a bad one. He smashed a little laptop into a ball. And put his f fucking ugly ass face on it. That's just mean, dude. That's just mean. I don't even gotta think of that's just that's just mean and uncalled for. That's bullshit. He he's killed your hero twice. Motherfucker. Yeah, you. You. You suck, man. You turned her into a mangled hunk of junk. Oh, I actually took a look out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say for a push workout grub, chicken's where it's at, and I'm all about a grill goodness. Fried, boiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the suckers. Grill. See, this man doesn't even like fried chicken. This man has to die now. Not for Chihiro and for the fried chicken. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. It's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave away to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill her! Ah, uh, you're a friend with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Monokuma, I hope you just get fucking stabbed to death, dude. He wasn't- she wasn't just a laptop. She was my friend. And you killed her! Is this what you kill animism, where soul dwells within all things, even like, laptops? Well, you can call it whatever you want. Bottom line is, I got in, it got in my way. He was trying to find things out all sneaky sneaky. So you finally noticed him. Finally? No, I knew about him from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from this stuff. Monokuma knew about Alter Ego this whole fucking time, and he's been just playing with us. And the second we connect him to the- as soon as we- as soon as we connected Alter Ego to the internet, he was like, oh no, I gotta shut this shit- can't let these fuckers go to space! What? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us plate the plunge. Mm. I mean, the data in that laptop, it was- well, I guess you'd call it a gift from me to you. All the porn, I mean, you could enjoy it while you- while it lasts, I got it on this flash drive here. Mm. I mean, more like a reward, not of you being able to unlock something so difficult. So of course I didn't care if you got access to that. But sneaking in the network was just too personal, so I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so we can all get out of here. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He, she wanted to help at the risk of her own life. And for that, she was killed. Ah oh, yeah, the punishment this time has made me feel a billion times better. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing, and me may remember that every low can get even lower. No, her death wasn't meaningless either. Everyone who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you- Yeah, no, fuck it, we're gonna fuck them up. We're gonna fucking break down that door to the fucking, uh, headmaster's thing and suplex them. Holy moly, you're like super mad, like just unreasonably upset. Okay, time to break things to close. Oh, before that, I need to read the postscript. Postscript? Yeah, I said a bit more left of Sakura's notes. What? One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it'll act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? What the f- Why is- Why is he giving us this for one? I've spoken with the Mastermind off and on about the whole time I've been here, so I've learned one thing. Which is, their Mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... 
Oopsie daisy, that was a close one. Another word, and it would have been deep in spoiler territory. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so the book club is dismissed for today. Really? Dude, fucking... Yep, I knew that was coming. It's gonna be like, 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 there's like alternate timelines or something, or like memory loss, or, or something like that. I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this game isn't goofy enough to go for, for t alternate timelines, because I'm gonna say memory loss, because that would explain all these pictures no one remembers taking. Makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? Makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know, huh? That's the whole point, stupid! Now get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. Fine, but at least soccer's no. I could never let any of you greaseballs have it. But Sucks for you, loser. What? Oh, whoa, what's this? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what. And that's... Is Soccer gonna come back as a ghost? Is she gonna come back as a ghost? Oh, wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? The fuck? Oh, well, whatever. Who cares what some dead muscle head has to say? Okay, I'm out of here. You guys should try and get some rest, you know? Maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. You sure you don't want to graduate? Could you really cut free of the regrets of the outside world? Think about that. Think long, think hard, think turgid. Those are his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was all that about? Soccer's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. Yeah, no, there's something... something that's been done. The Mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the Mastermind did? What did the Mastermind do to us? I mean, did the Mastermind plan a bomb in us? Oh fuck, that'd be, that'd be fucked up. Like you leave and you just go and you pop. If we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off and the bomb explodes. I've seen like stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. Well, I mean, in yeah, in movies and comics and stuff, but like, I think we would know, there'd be like, scars or something. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. So the class trial is over and Monokum is gone, man. So now what do we do? What else is there other than to head back up? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, let's get out of here, bro. But, I am... Um... He you know myself feel responsible. Hmm, <laughs> dial back on that ego a bit, girl. Like, damn, girl, dial back on that ego, damn. This kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. I would never have lost that, except you very nearly almost did, dude. You very nearly just almost got us all killed because you couldn't suss it out. Like, what are you talking about, man? Kyoku and Makoto are the ones who figured everything out. Shut up, though. Seriously, I'm sorry. How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Okay, I see what you mean. Then, I'll try. Huh? That totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just capture his flag? No, 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 no! I cannot suffer for someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. What? Are you fucking- Why does she keep- Why does she keep doing this and thinking Aoi is hitting on him? Why would I ever go for a sleazeball like him? Sleazeball? That's right, I called you a sleazeball, because you are a sleazeball. Apparently you still have a death wish. Oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse, give and take. Me? What the hell? Well, I guess it's not easy for everyone back. What the hell? Like, what? What? What is this? Oh, God. This is. This is like Joker and Harley Quinn, but like Rule 63, I guess. What the fuck? Oh man, we got to say- So Starcourt's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope Speak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on, we all went back to our rooms before a long night snuck up on us. Ding dong bing bong. Uh, 
This is a school announcement, it's 10 p.m., it's nighttime, everything's shutting down, blah 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 blah. No one cares. My tent descended and pulled me along with it down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I fallen in such a deep sleep, but the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. Yo, what, we got ghosts? I could hear a voice. Wah. Wow. Wake up. Wake up. The voice dragged me from my steep slumber into a hazy half-consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. What? We got go- No, no, we ain't got ghosts. Damn it. How did she get in here? Kyoko? Yes, it's me. But Kyoko- What the fuck? How did she get in here? In a flash, I was wide awake. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. But why, though? You're unbelievably care- Fuck's sake, he didn't even lock his goddamn door. And don't add, and you don't have to always overact like that every time you're surprised. No, he does, because he's an anime protagonist. What time is it? It's three o'clock in the morning. Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? Yeah, no, why, girl? What's, what's going on? What's going on? I have a favor I need to ask. Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Oh my god, what if Sakura made an AI? <laughs> There's like a soccer AI is like truewarrior.exe. And Kyoko put her lips next to my ear. You know what? For a second, I thought she kissed him. The data center on the fourth floor. I'll meet you there. What the fuck? What? Her words reverberated from my half-dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. I mean, apparently not anymore, dude. Oh god, I knew I said I was gonna stop after the trial, but I actually need to figure this out, because it looks like we still got some more shit. And I can't teleport, because, you know, why would I be allowed to teleport? Why would I be allowed? Can I teleport now? I made my way to the after-hour school and headed to the data center on the fourth floor. I mean, I was gonna do that. Eventually I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird, she said she'd meet me. She may be inside already? I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force. It didn't open. Pfft. Nice bait and switch there, video game. I tried again, but it must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? Data center on the fourth floor? Oh, how are you doing up, mister? Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... I can see that you don't. Don't waste my time telling me crap. I can see them for myself. It looked like my break in any second, so I just figured I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you going to try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? It's 3 o'clock in the morning, for God's sake. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed. Why are you out here making a racket? What the, what the fuck? Where was she? Where was she at? What? I'm really confused. What? She told us to meet her there, and then we get there, and Monokuma's there, and she... I'm... I'm big confused right now. Listen, what was all that just now? She went me out, made me go to the data center, she's having to be locked, and then she shows up late, and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? Don't worry about it. No. No, that's not... What the fuck? Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuro is Ikusaba. Is that Monokuma's real name? <gasps> Nani? Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Hey, yo, girl, let me whisper in your ear. Where do you see my dick? Where do you see my dick? The 16th student, lying hid, lying hidden somewhere in the school. The fuck? What? The one they call the ultimate despair. There's another student we just haven't met? What? What the fuck? That... Okay, now it's getting dumb. 
Now, now it's getting dumb. Oh, the fucking medal is called Alter Lump. Oh my god, I hate you so much. They gave it to him. They gave it to Makoto. That... That's dumb. That's... That's dumb. That is so goddamn dumb, I can't even believe how dumb it is. Holy shit, well... Hopefully that's the end of an episode, because I'm gonna go lay down now, because that class trial and all this stupid shit is giving me a headache. Let me know what you think down there in the comments, honestly. Like, what do you what do you think about the, how, this story and how it's going so far? Because the I feel like these um, class trials are getting worse as time is going on. Because, like, that entire thing with Sakura, almost every piece of evidence was was a plant made there to confuse me. Like, from the start, I said, okay, no, this is a suicide. Because she's locked in a room, and she's keeled over. There's no way to get into or out of the room without un unblocking the door. Which means that she would ha she's the only one in there, she has to be the one. And then there's all this evidence that is just planted after the fact. And then the Monokuma file lied, which said she had a head wound, but no, she had two head wounds. Like... It just, it, it, the game is lying to me for dramatic effect, and it's, it's not appreciated. It's really not appreciated, because it just makes, it takes the fun out of this. The fun out of solving mysteries. And I hate that, and that's lame. I don't know. And everybody, so, hey. Hey, this is the first time you're gonna hear a fucking sign-off from me for a bit, so. Because I normally do these all in one chunk, and I think I'm basically at the end of an episode, so this shouldn't be a sign-off. So this should be just a sign-off. So thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and follow me on VidMe just in case I get killed here. And I will see you in the next video. But most important of all, I will see you a round the room.